Let's take a look how to spin this text around the model here in Photoshop and Illustrator. I'm going to start in Illustrator and I'm going to go with this text as a reference. By the way, I went with the Mango Grotesque Extra Bold and I'm going to scale down the text, double click, select all the text, press Ctrl C and I'm going to press Ctrl V at the end. So basically I'm going to make a longer text, right click on the text and select Create Outlines. Now let's go to the symbols and I'm going to select the text and drag and drop it into the symbols. Click OK. Now I can go and delete the text. From here, I'm going to select the rectangle, create a rectangle like this. And I'm going to go to the effect, 3D materials. Let's go to 3D classics and select revolve classic. And here, let's go to the map art. Make sure to check invisible geometry. And we're going to need to search for the side shape. So I'm going to go to this arrow, click on it. And as you can see, it is going to highlight the size of the cylinder. And now we're going to go here to the symbol and select the new symbol that we created. Click on it. And I'm going to click on scale to fit. Click OK. And here all you need to do is arrange this cube. I think this is pretty good. I also going to need to add some perspective. And I'm going to increase it maybe to 100. And I'm going to arrange it a little bit more. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to select it. Press Ctrl C. Let's go to Photoshop. And here I'm going to copy paste it on the model. Press Ctrl V. I'm going to select Smart Object. Click OK. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it and position it. And from here, I'm going to need to delete this area and I'm going to uncheck the text and select the model. I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate. And with this new model layer, I'm going to go here to the taskbar and click on remove background. And I'm going to press and hold Ctrl. And let's go and click on the model's mask. I'm going to activate the text. Let's select the layer with the text. And let's go to select, inverse. And let's go and mask it. And from here, make sure that the color white is on the top. I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm going to go and paint right here. So this is going to bring the text back. You also can go to the text layer, unlink it and select the thumbnail with the text. And here you also can reposition it however you like and rotate it maybe. And I'm going to link it back, rename it. I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate and I'm going to uncheck the bottom text layer. Now let's select the top text layer, double click on it. And let's go and activate the color overlay first. I'm going to change up the color and I'm going to go with a yellow. Click OK. And let's go to the outer glow, activate it. And I'm going to change up the color to yellow. Click OK. And the blend mode is going to be linear dodge add. I'm going to decrease the opacity to 40. And I'm going to increase the size nice and high. And spread is going to be zero. And from here, I'm also going to activate the drop shadow. And here I'm going to go with a yellow again. Click OK. The blend mode is going to be normal. I'm going to decrease the opacity to 13. The distance is going to be zero. And I'm also going to increase the size of this all the way to maximum. So basically this is going to add an extra glow. Click OK. And from here I'm going to go and activate the second text layer. And I'm going to rename this shadows. And I'm going to decrease the fill to zero. Let's double click on the shadows. Let's go and activate the drop shadow. I'm going to change the color to black. Click OK. I'm going to increase the opacity, change up the blend mode to multiply. I'm going to decrease the size and I'm going to increase the distance. Angle is pretty good. I'm going to go with 87. I'm going to add some size and pretty much that's it. Click OK. So as you can see, the shadow is all over the place, which is not good. So I'm going to go to the shadow layer, right click on it, select convert to smart object. Let's go ahead and mask it. And I'm going to select the brush, make sure that you're on the black. And I'm going to go and delete the shadows and something like that. I'm also going to decrease the opacity a little bit more. And there it is. And pretty much that's it. See you on the next one.